Oh, yeah. There you go. How you guys doing? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, my hometown doesn't produce a lot of uh, a big time athletes. We have some swimmers, some baseball players, but never a football player. Um, so it's an unbelievable experience kind of being in this moment, something that I never thought was possible when I was 16, 17 years old. Never really played football until high school um, and then played football at Stanford. But even then, I didn't think that this was really going to be a reality till now. And something that I'll never take for granted. I feel really uh, fortunate and blessed to be in this opportunity, and hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Is that you have a, a memory from watching Super Bowls over your, your life that kind of stands out to you? I mean, there's just been so many good games. Uh, I think that's kind of the thing that stands out to me is that each and every game in the Super Bowl, no matter how the game goes at the beginning, it kind of seems to always end in a, in a very close game. Uh, one of the first ones that I remember is uh, the Rams-Titans game where the guy was trying to reach for the end zone um, and didn't make it. I was a big Rams fan at the time, the greatest show on turf. I think everybody loved that team if you were a non-biased fan. Um, so just all those games in the Super Bowl are typically close, and ultimately um, it's – it's all going to be about uh, the execution as a team and as an offense. Zach, your coaches have talked about your ability to use your leverage and, you know, like very uniquely. How did you develop that? And when did you develop it? And what's kind of the key to that? Yeah, I think it's uh, a lot of film study uh, is a big part of it. Being around coaches that are able to teach like uh, we have here now, um, they've definitely helped me in my development as a route runner. Um, I credit them for a lot of my success. Uh, uh, my tight end coach has been huge for me. Uh, Justin Peel has been huge for me. He's been here since the beginning. Um, and then just watching a lot of great players. I watch a lot of Jason Witten, how he gets open, how he attacks certain people. Um, I think I've taken uh, a ton of different stuff for a lot of, from a lot of different players, and it's definitely helped my game. Zach, you're close to Carson, obviously. Mm -hmm. this, this could have been him starting the game. How is he uh, taking it, and what's his presence for you? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody wants to be playing in the Super Bowl. Not only Carson, but Jordan Hicks, JP, Sproles, all these guys want to play in the Super Bowl. Um, but all those guys have been extremely supportive of everyone in this building. Uh, they were just as excited last game as they would have been if they were playing in the game. So I think that selflessness is not easy to come by. It's not easy to find. Um, you see a lot of guys, when they get hurt, they kind of check out. And it couldn't be further from the truth uh, with each and every one of those guys. Obviously, Carson's going to be playing in these situations, hopefully for a long time. The expectation here in this organization is that this isn't going to be a one-time thing in the future. Um, that's kind of the organizational standard now, I think, is being in this game over and over. Um, that's what we expect as a team, and I think that's why the, they have the players here to kind of have that sustained success. Is your wife going to be able to go to the game? What kind of yeah, she'll definitely be there. Uh, I told her I would not be talking to her if she wasn't coming to this one. Um, but at the end of the day, she's been huge. She's going as a wife to support me. Um, she's extremely proud of everything we've done as a football team. She understands how hard this team works and how hard I work in the off season to, to uh, get to this point. Um, we're each other's number one fans. Um, our relationship wasn't built on the athletic success. Um, we truly love each other, and that's the most important thing to us. Do you guys keep it simple and say it's almost like just another game? Or how do you approach this game? Because it's a Super Bowl, it's something you can bounce to as a kid, yet you're going to go out and play like you did in week one, week 10, whatever. Yeah, I think uh, people will be saying that it's the Eagles in the Super Bowl. That's the biggest thing. But ultimately, as players, you got to look at it as the Eagles versus the Patriots. Um, that's all we're going to focus on this week. Uh, we have a huge game week prep this week. Um, we're going at it as if we were playing this weekend. Um, so it's going to be a huge week for us uh, from a practice standpoint. And I think that's going to be able to allow us to kind of just focus on the task at hand rather than everything surrounding this game. So you come here to practice to look at the opponent's defense. But as a fan, when you watch football, have you marveled as a tight end over Brock? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that guy has been doing it for a long time. I think his second year in the league, he set the record for touchdowns from the tight end position. Um, and yards, I think it's at 1327. Um, so he set pretty much every tight end record out there. 
The guy is a physical specimen. He's a freak. He's uh, he's able to use his body. He obviously has a very good quarterback throwing him the ball, but he would still be producing those numbers with or without Tom Brady. Um, I definitely learned a lot from him. He's a beast after the catch. Um, he's able to use his body whenever he wants to get open. Even when he's not open, he's open with the frame that he has and the ball skills that he has. Um, so he's definitely someone that's been the preeminent uh, tight end in this league for a long time, and he's an unbelievable player. So how effective have they been in freezing the safeties and linebackers for you on those slants and slants? Yeah, they've been huge. I mean, obviously our coaches have done an amazing job putting those into the playbook more and more each and every week, uh, something that kind of allows our offense to play fast and kind of limits the defense from playing fast. And anytime you're able to do that as an offense, you're going to be successful. Um, Nick is obviously extremely comfortable uh, with those being called. And I think it's going to be a staple of our offense going forward. It's been a staple all year. Um, it's allowed me, Alshon, Torrey, all these guys to get open, Nelson all the time in the slot getting open on those things. So um, we definitely use them to our advantage. We're yeah, it's been huge. Uh, I've spoken about this over and over again since I was a rookie, that you need that uh, same position at the quarterback, that same guy kind of understanding how you're running routes. Uh, the chemistry is the number one thing uh, uh, between a, a wide receiver and a quarterback, and tight end and a quarterback is the same thing. Uh, Nick's played unbelievable the past couple games. Um, last game was probably the best game I've ever seen him play. Um, but that's kind of the Nick we expect. He's a very good quarterback. We got all the confidence in the world in him. What do you see in their defense? What is it when it sticks out from you watching? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're extremely well coached. Um, they've been doing it for a long time in that same scheme for a long time. Uh, they play fast. Um, they're able to adjust extremely well in the games. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat them on the same play twice because they're able to kind of see what you've done. Um, earlier in the game and kind of react to that. Um, so they're extremely disciplined. They got a lot of good players, uh, and it's going to be a very tough test for us. Jack, did you do the, uh, the trip out to the West Coast, staying out there, and help you, uh, help you with what you're going to be facing next week? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing, you know, um, in the sense that there's a lot of uh, uncertainty kind of in regards to how that week went going into it. Um, so guys were able to kind of see and adjust on the fly to those uh, circumstances. And it's going to be the same this week. Um, I don't even know really where we're practicing or inside or outside or whatnot. But as we get um, there, I'm sure it will be laid out for us. Every, they're going to do everything they can in their power to make it as close to this building out there. And everyone in this building is going to do an unbelievable job at that. And it's not going to be a distraction for us by any means. Zach, you knew Nick when he was here before. How is, is he different now in any way, the things that he's been through, uh, that he went through in a couple of years that he um, I don't know. You know, Nick was always kind of the calm, and calm guy. Uh, he never got too high. He never got too low. I think his perspective may have changed. Uh, by that, I mean that he's not living and dying by each and every play. He's extremely calm and collected now. Obviously, he, he did hit some lows. He's been open about that. Um, but we're extremely grateful that he decided to come back and play last year and ultimately be here for this year. Um, I don't think we would be in this situation right now as confident we are as we are without him. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's changed too much, but I think his overall demeanor, his overall outlook maybe has changed slightly. Hey, Zach, you stood up here last week and said you were the guy in third downs. You want your number called to happen. Yeah, it's tough for a defense. Uh, obviously, when you face those as an offense, they're extremely difficult to kind of convert. Third and eight, third and ten, those are situations. As, a, as an offense, they're extremely difficult to be in. Most of the time, I got a chip. The running backs got a chip to kind of allow those routes uh, to develop downfield. And with the way our line was playing last week, Big V played the best game he's ever played here as a Philadelphia Eagle. So we didn't. I didn't really have to chip on third down. And the more guys you can get in the route, obviously, the better success rate there's going to be. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've said all along, uh, this team is extremely uh, tough to defend because we got a lot of guys that you got to account for. And But when the situation calls for it, I want to be the guy. I want to make the play. Uh, um, I've put a lot of pride into those situations. We worked our tails off 
on them all off season, all spring, all summer. Third down in the red zone was the focus. And we were out there grinding against the defense each and every day this off season, trying to perfect those situations. And I mean, going against that defense last week was a huge testament to the way we, we've uh, just, this whole season has kind of culminated into that. Obviously, I think that was the best third down defense in NFL history or something, uh, they were up there. Um, so we played extremely well on third down. Nick did a great job, our line did a great job, and guys just made plays. Zach, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned Witten as one of the primary guys that you studied. Do you see some of yourself in him, or why have you honed uh, in on, on Witten specifically? Yeah, um, well, first of all, his longevity and the way he's been able to stay in this league and play at a high level for such a long time, I think anyone would be foolish not to kind of watch his film and kind of pick something for him. Um, but I think you would see some similarities if you truly studied our game. That's something that always stood out to me was how fast he was off the line of scrimmage. Um, he wasn't always the fastest guy, but typically he was the first one past five yards down the field. Um, and he was a complete tight end. It's a guy that never left the field. He was on the field for 95, 99, 100% of the snaps each and every game for 16 years now. The guys, this is 11th Pro Bowl. So you'd be foolish not to look at that guy and study him and take take pieces from him. Um, and the way he does things off the field, too, the way he's so involved in that community. Um, I got a lot of respect for him. He knows that, obviously. We've spoken about it multiple times. Um, I texted him about it last week, that he was going to his 11th Pro Bowl. And uh, yeah, it was. Uh, he's definitely a guy that I wanted to emulate, and I think you could see it in our games for sure. Zach, did you get a chance to That's soak cool. in what that win meant to the city? All the people that were out in the streets and get a chance to visualize what this city would be like if you were able to bring home from Barry Cook. Yeah, I think uh, the city got what it deserved, winning the NFC Championship. Uh, they're the best fans in football to play for. I mean, that stadium on Sunday night was the loudest and best environment I've ever been in as a player. They brought it each and every snap when the defense was on the field. They're smart fans. They understand when the offense is up, they got to be quiet a little bit so we can hear the, hear everything. Um, but the thing is that they deserve a Super Bowl. They, they've been starving for a Super Bowl. As players, we're going to do everything we can to deliver that. It's going to be an unbelievable test for us, but something we're excited about. Thanks, Zach.